Um, good afternoon, B9 and B10. Welcome to St Mary's College Annual Awards Presentation for 2021. My name is Catherine Martin, Assistant Principal. Today we are presenting the Academic, Sporting, Cultural and Special Awards to students in Year 7 to 11. As you are well aware, the COVID-19 restrictions have affected our presentation today. We have separated our awards presentation into cohorts and will be live streaming the event for parents, carers and friends to watch. The link will be available, available on Compass if you wish to access the different year levels at a later time. We have a photographer organised to take individual photos as students are presented with their awards. It is not ideal to run our presentation this way, but we have limited space available. Thank you for your understanding and support. As we gather today, let us acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land, the local Gunilaro people. This is a place where Aboriginal people have performed age-old ceremonies of storytelling, music, dance, celebrations and renewal. Let us acknowledge this living culture and its unique role in the life of Australia today. Let us acknowledge with honour and respect the Elders past, present and future and pay our respects to those who have and still guide us with their wisdom. I would now like to invite our U9 leader, Ms. Bernie, to lead us in prayer. Our prayer this afternoon is a prayer for student growth. We begin together with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We want to teach our students how to live this life on earth to face its struggles and its strife and improve their work. 
not just the lesson in a book or how the rivers flow, but how to choose the proper path wherever they may go. To understand eternal truth and know the right from wrong, and treat each other kindly to help us all belong. For if we help the world to grow in wisdom and in grace, then we have answered our God's call to build a better place. And so we ask your guidance, God, to help us do our part. Amen. 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 Father, Amen. Thank you, Miss Stanley. I'd now like to invite our principal, Miss Bernie Feldman, to come forward to deliver the principal's address. Today, I have entitled my address for you, A Dream. Ask yourself, is what you are doing today getting you closer to where you want to be tomorrow? The plan. At the beginning of each year, everyone embraces the possibilities and potential of the year to come. The promises of self-care, new friendships, team and personal goals with a touch of excitement about how much we're going to grow. Each goal we set has challenges that we overcome to achieve our full potential. These challenges, under most circumstances, are manageable and can be strategized for optimum outcomes. However, sometimes those challenges seem insurmountable Take 2021, mice plague, COVID, Delta, floods, all of these things out of our control. And when things are out of our own control, it's very difficult to stay the path to achieve success in all the plans that we've set for ourselves. This has been a difficult year. We've been separated and isolated We've been given new rules, and then the rules changed. We've been scared, frightened, and even sometimes we've lost some hope. We were face to face, we were online. We were face to face and kind of online together. We were face to face with masks, distancing, touch up online, and limited to who we could be with, when and where. However, amongst all this angst, and overwhelming unknown. We've seen in our own community levels of success never seen before. Personal bests have been broken. New ways of connecting with others has been found and the learning from you has never stopped. The inspiration for me as principal of 2021 has been you, our students. To use some very cool terms and phrases, you've learned to lean in to the challenge. You've had to pivot to find new ways into the learning. You've negotiated and built solutions we might never have considered, and you have been born. Angela Lee Duckworth, a New York teacher, shared in her TED talk that IQ isn't the only thing to measure success with. What struck me when I watched her talk was the way in which we can understand the how of success as we celebrate these outstanding successes of your work in 2021. Yes, you have social intelligence. You have physical health. You've got good looks. And you have IQ. But the most outstanding quality of each of you receiving an award today is grit. Passion and perseverance for a very long time for very long-term goals. Grit is having stamina, sticking with your future day in, day out, not just for the week, not the term, not just the semester, but for a year and even years. Grit is the marathon rather than the sprint. 
Grit's partner in crime is the willingness to work really hard to make that dream a reality. This is why living well complements and supports learning well. This is why, in learning from the success of our outstanding students, that we want to learn grit. All of us, teachers and students alike. Hugh Van Kloenberg, an Australian teacher, developed the Resilience Project. St Mary's College has the honour of being gifted a sponsorship to run the Resilience Project in 2022. What a blessing to have the opportunity to not only learn from our successful students, but to begin implementing strategies of gratitude, empathy and mindfulness to build resilience. Through grit, we can make success a part of each and every one of our own lives. Be daring. We've been daring in 2021, being brave enough to lean into proven strategies that increase your learning flow. While it's been challenging, we have the grit to stay on the path to success in our teaching and learning. Collaborative learning, collaborative planning, learning intentions, success criteria, the five questions of learning, formative assessment, golden opportunities and entering the learning at a level of challenge. This right work is about promising practices for you to grow as successful learners, not just for now, but for the future as a long, long, lifelong learner. The calm, productive classrooms are the hub of innovative learning and solutions building. You are learning more about how you learn, which opens the doors to multiple opportunities and possibilities. The pivot. Back in my day, in the 80s to be exact, it was common practice to be told what you could do with your life based on the results that you got in the subjects that you were told to do. For me, I was told that I would be very successful in the field of administration assistance. And don't get me wrong, I actually think that that was a pretty good fit on their behalf. Why? Because I love a great diary. I love a tip to do list and I love nothing more than check boxes. And I really like to organise people. But I didn't take the advice. I took to acting and teaching instead. I reflected on this moment in time, and I remember it well. In 1987, when I took to the stage in my first high school musical, that was the moment that decisions were made, goals were set, dreams were created. My kids, they call it pivoting. The change you make to an alternate path when the dream shifts and changes. We all know someone who's pivoted. I've got a niece who went from marketing and design to teaching, to florist, to branding specialist and photographer. And now she runs a business that embraces just about everything she's done prior and she's building more on top of it. Great. My son went from golf retail to golf professional, to professional golf coaching and mentoring. Great. Even those of us who maintain a job we find grit coming out in amazing pastimes where we build skills and talents. Love swimming? Keep breaking your PB. Thought about maybe doing some art? Show in a gallery, make some sales. Like the idea of retail? Create your own online store. You all now live in the world of pivot because change is the one thing that's consistent for us now. And regardless of the path that you choose, whether you stay the path or change the direction from time to time, it's the long game that we're working at here. Building your skills to be successful learners for a future that has the potential to be something big for each and every one of you. There's a little song that came out in the 60s, I think, and its opening lines were, dreams are nothing more than wishes, and a wish is just a dream that you wish would come true. Success comes in lots of different packages. Academic, sporting, artistic, creative. We celebrate our high achievers today. But for everyone, making it to the end of 2021, where dreams and wishes sometimes didn't come true, we now know that the dreams and wishes have not gone away. That in 2022, we're still going to be here and we're going to support you and we're going to celebrate your success in dreaming big 
giving great grit to the passions and dreams that you have. Thank you for your commitment to your learning and for joining together today and for those who have joined us on video to celebrate the outstanding achievements of our students in a year that proved to us that grit is alive and well in our students before us. We're so proud of all of your achievements and we're blessed that we could come together in this way to celebrate together as a cohort. So congratulations to all of you and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Sullivan. So we will start the awards with the special awards. All the recipients will be announced at each presentation. So we will hold the applause until we have Year 9 and 10 students actually coming up to receive an award. As students are called to receive awards, pick up your award on the table, then stand next to or between the presenters and face the audience for a photo, or actually face the photographer. Then return to your seat. Thank you. You may also take your mask off as you come up to uh, receive your award. <coughs> so the Poulos Prize for Christian Leadership is for a student who displays a caring and respectful attitude towards others, models the values of the Gospels, and is a positive role model to all students. But ours is Sullivan to come first. The recipient for 2021 is Lewis Johnson. The ADF Long Term Leadership and Teamwork Award is donated by the Australian Defence Force and provides a fitting tribute to the long term veterans by encouraging and recognising in students the values demonstrated at Long Term. Values such as determination, mateship, tenacity, compassion, and leadership. This year, the award is presented to Adam Farquhar. The Reuben F. Scarf Award for Commitment in Year 11 is given for consistent effort and a desire to improve in all subject areas. This year, the award goes to Maya Gallagher. The Kevin, the Kevin Anderson Prize for Consistent Effort in Year 10 is given to a student who has endeavoured to perform to their potential made a consistent effort and has a desire to improve in all subject areas. This year it is awarded to Lucy Reed. The Upper Namoy Cotton Growers Award for Agriculture is awarded to Dylan Stubbs. <laughs> the Creative and Performing Arts Awards donated by Mr. Michael Crowhurst recognises students for their participation, commitment, excellence and leadership in the creative college at the culture of the college. Participation in creative arts contributes to an individual's growth and development as it, and is encouraged and valued at St Mary's College. Visual arts is awarded to Joe Denise Montividad.
The music award is awarded to Shania Becker in year 12. Positive contribution to the college community in year 11, donated by the Amadal Johnson Investment Group. This year is awarded to Alexander Harris and Mackenzie Leader. Positive contribution to the college community in year 10, donated by Whitehaven Cole, is awarded to both Mitchell Purden and Lily Maxwell. Positive contribution to the college community in Year 9, donated by Whitehaven Cole, is awarded to both Jesse Giles Smythe and Claire Cannon. Building. Positive contribution to the college community in year eight, donated by Canada Business Training, is awarded to Ruben Becker and Charlotte Semler. Positive contribution to the college community in year seven, donated by the Sisters of Mercy, is awarded to both Angus Hobson and Amber Welsh. The Rita Murphy Memorial Award. Mrs. Murphy was college secretary for 25 years while Sister Christine was principal. She treated everyone in our school with the utmost respect, from the principal to the most challenging student. In everything Mrs. Murphy did throughout the day, she showed the face of Jesus. The award, which is donated by the Murphy family, is presented to a year seven girl who exhibits enthusiasm, courtesy, and concern for others. The award this year goes to Lily Dunkley. The Peter Roots Memorial Prize. Peter Roots was a Year 7 student who attended the college in the 1970s. He was tragically drowned while swimming in the river. Each year we remember his enthusiasm and love of his teachers and friends. This award, which is donated by the Ex-Students Association, is presented to a boy in Year 7 who has shown enthusiasm, courtesy and concern for others. The award this year is awarded to William Higgins. That concludes the special awards. We will now move into the academic awards for Year 10. So with Mr Tim Kennedy, our Year 10 leader, and Mrs Feldman, please come forward. And just a reminder, when you come forward, if you would please stand on the marking, the yellow marking. Rhiannon Adamson, commitment, oh sorry, there will be two types of awards presented to students in years 7 to 10. The Academic Excellence Award. This award is presented to students who, who have received eight or more A's on their semester one and two reports. This accolade highlights the exceptional academic performance of these students in all their subjects throughout the year. The Commitment to Learning Award. This is awarded to a student who has approached their learning with diligence and sustained effort throughout the year. Teachers have nominated a student from each of their classes for this award. Rhiannon Adamson. Commitment to learning in English, Mathematics, Child Studies and Food Technology.
Paul Stephanus, commitment to learning in religion and commitment to learning in year 11 mathematics events. Joshua Coker, Commitment to Learning, PhPE. <laughs> Lewis Johnson, Academic Excellence and Commitment to Learning in Commerce, Elective History, History and Geography, PhPE, Religion. Thomas Donaldson, Academic Excellence and Commitment to Learning in Industrial Technology Metal and Industrial Technology Wood. <laughs> Chloe Dorrington, Commitment to Learning, History and Geography and Science. Emma Doyle, Commitment to Learning Music. <laughs> Annie Elphick, Commitment to Learning in Science and Visual Arts. William Ford, Commitment to Learning Mathematics. <laughs> Mackenzie Gordon, Commitment to Learning History and Geography and Agriculture. Kaya Grace Henry, Commitment to Learning Agriculture. <laughs> Olivia Guest, Commitment to Learning Pass. Amelia Hatton, Academic Excellence and commit, Commitment to Learning in Science. <laughs> Sophie Jones, Commitment to Learning STEM. Lily Maxwell, Commitment to Learning Performance Studies. Sarah McKenzie, Commitment to Learning IST. Ryan Paul, Commitment to Learning Industrial Technology Wood. <laughs> Dr. 
Bianca Pai, Commitment to Learning in English and Religion. <laughs> Lucy Reed, Academic Excellence and Commitment to Learning in Mathematics. Darcy Roman, Commitment to Learning in Industrial Technology Metal. Mercedes Sullivan, Commitment to Learning, PDHPE. Millie Taylor, Academic Excellence and Commitment to Learning, Child Studies and Food Technology. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kennedy. Would Ms. Karen Stanley be nine minutes, please come forward? Indiella Bryce, Commitment to Learning, PDHPE and Performance Studies. <laughs> Ebony Burgess, Commitment to Learning, English. Claire Cannon, Academic, Academic Excellence and Commitment to Learning, PDHPE and Electric History. <laughs> Jaden Dreiser, Academic Excellence and Commitment to Learning, Information Software Technology. Clay Durant, Commitment to Learning, Industrial Technology, Wood. <laughs> Helen Gibson, Commitment to Learning, Music. Jesse Giles Smyth, Academic Excellence and Commitment to Learning, Commerce, Mathematics and Religion. <laughs> Josie Kingdom, Commitment to Learning, Food Technology. Patrick Lindsay, Commitment to Learning Mathematics. <laughs> Thank you.
Amelia Lush, Academic of Excellence and Commitment to Learning English. <laughs> Caroline McCoy, Commitment to Learning in Agriculture and Science. Madison McDonald, Commitment to Learning, History and Geography. <laughs> James McKenzie, Commitment to Learning, Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Riley Mitchell, Commitment to Learning in Agriculture and Religion. <laughs> Ava Mitchell, Commitment to Learning in Industrial Technology and Metal. Anissa Moran, Commitment to Learning in English, History and Geography and PhPE. <laughs> Joe Denise Natividad, Academic Excellence and Commitment to Learning Visual Arts. <laughs> Owen Robinson, Commitment to Learning Industrial Technology, Good. Riley Roden, Commitment to Learning, Industrial Technology, Metal, Science and Religion. J.C. Ross, Commitment to Learning, Food Technology and PASS. <laughs> Isabella Sawyer, Commitment to Learning, Science. Chantelle Stubbs, Commitment to Learning, Child Studies. <laughs> Mia Wilkinson, Commitment to Learning, Child Studies, Mathematics, PDHPE, Religion and Science. Cooper Williams, Commitment to Learning, History and Geography. <laughs> Vienna Woods, Commitment to 
commitment to learning English. Thank you, Ms. Stanley and Ms. Spelman. That concludes the academic awards for years 9 and 10. And we will now move on to the science awards. Uh, sorry, sports awards. The 2021 St Mary's College Sport Awards. Last year, COVID saw the cancellation of most schools' representative sports. This year, we at least got through some events before school sport was once again impacted by COVID. We will be recognising the achievements of those who did get to participate in school sport, even though some sports were cancelled. To those who did get to play sport and experience success, well done. While commiserations go to those who missed out on their sport this year. So I'd ask Mr Kennedy if he would please come forward um, and if some of the awards are for the United Nations students, if you would then come forward to receive it. So school sporting records for Year 9 students. There were nine new swimming records set this year. Amelia Lush, 15 girls, 50 metre freestyle and 15 girls, 100 metre freestyle. Harrison. Harrison Bennett, 15 boys, 50 metres freestyle, 15 boys, 50 metres backstroke, 15 boys, 50 metre breaststroke, 15 boys, 50 metre butterfly, and 15 boys, 100 metres freestyle. College Half Blue Award is awarded to a student who has represented the college in a sport and has won a medal at New South Wales Combined Catholic Colleges Championship. A student who has represented the Armadale Diocese for three years in the same sport is also eligible for the award of a College Half Blue. A College Half Blue this year is awarded to Chloe Dorrington for tennis. A College Blue Award is awarded to a student who has represented the college in a sport at New South Wales CCC level or higher. This year, College Blues are awarded to Harrison Bennett for swimming. <laughs> Harrison also receives an Armadale Diocesan Blue Award. These awards are awarded to students who have represented the Armadale Diocese in sport and gone on to either win a medal at New South Wales All School Championships or be selected in the New South Wales All Schools team. This year, an Armadale Diocese in Blue is awarded to Harrison Bennett. Sports Service Awards. This award is to acknowledge students who have made an outstanding contribution by coaching, managing, or officiating in school sport. This year's Student Sports Service Awards go to Rhiannon Adamson, Netball. William Ford, Cricket. <laughs> 
Mackenzie Knox, Nepal. Carter McElveen, Cricket. Yamadar Dyson Secondary Sports Council also awards staff service to sport awards to staff who have made an outstanding contribution to the development of secondary school sport. This year, the staff service to sport awards go to Mrs. Carrie Deer and Mrs. Alana Hatch for all their assistance in organising our sporting trips. The Graham Groth Memorial Award. This perpetual trophy has been donated by the Groth family in memory of the late Graham Groth, who did so much to promote participation in junior sport. The award is to recognise students who participate in sport with a positive attitude. Graham Groth is a man who encouraged people to play sport for the love of it, not just to win. The award will be given to both a male and female student. This year's winners of the award are Phoebe Paul in Year 8 and William Ford in Year 10. The Blue Ribbon Award. This award is to recognise the most outstanding male and female athletes in the college. The award recognises excellence in a variety of sports rather than an outstanding performance in just one sport. The female winner this year is Amelia Lush. <laughs> the most outstanding sporting achievement. This award is to recognise the single most outstanding achievement in any sport by an individual this year. This year's winner is Indiella Bryars B9. <laughs> Indiella had great success in gymnastics, winning a gold medal at level 7 at the New South Wales Gymnastics Championships, going on then to represent New South Wales at the Australian Championships. Sport Leadership Awards. The college sporting competitions rely heavily upon the house captains to organise the competitors in their house. Their leadership ability influences the success of their house. Throughout the year, and with the growth of the lunchtime sporting competition, there was extra work to do this year. This year's house captains were Chloe Sumter and Cameron Burns for Mercy, Mackenzie Lent. Leader and Rory Taylor for Macaulay, Charlie Lawrence and Jared Ferguson for Loretto, and Maya Gallagher and Harry Fairfield for Lords. The John Lennon Trophy for Lunchtime Sports Competition. This year's Lunchtime Sports Competition ran during Term 2 prior to the cancellation of school sport midway through Term 3. The House Captains were responsible for organising and running the competition. This year, the winning house was Loretto. <laughs> the Sisters of Mercy Honour Shield. The Honour Shield is awarded to the best performing house from all of this year's sporting competitions, the swimming carnival, the cross country and the lunchtime sports competition. Unfortunately, this year's Athletics Carnival was not held due to COVID restrictions. The original shield was donated by the family of Sister Judith Carney, and the new shield is known as the Sisters of Mercy Honour Shield, to recognise the legacy of the Sisters of Mercy here at the college since 1879. This year's winning house of the Sisters of Mercy Honour Shield is Mercy. That concludes
concludes our awards presentation today for years nine and ten, I would like to thank the following. All staff who have assisted in the preparation of today's presentation, all award donors for your ongoing support of the college, and finally, all the parents, carers and friends who have been able to watch us by live stream today. We thank you for your ongoing support of the college. Well done to students who won awards today. However, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate each and every student for your commitment to learning this year. It has been a challenging year, as mentioned before, with remote learning, floods, COVID restrictions, but you have all survived. Well done. I wish you all well for a joyous Christmas and a well-earned holiday. Thank you.